In my time of playing Fallout 4, I have documented over 1,000 unmarked locations, and today I'm going to show you five of my favourite. Starting off with the Ghoul Hideout, just east of Coastal Cottage. It's underneath the bridge whilst you're approaching the Macro Fish Packing Plant, and is a little unmarked door right here. Not only can you bag yourself a good bit of loot, you can get a fusion core as well as many items. Unfortunately, you will have to fend off the glowing one. Sometimes he's locked behind the novice door here. Other times you could get unlucky and he's sitting out the front waiting for your arrival. Now, whether these were Santas, rich friends or unlucky people that were waiting out the nuclear war, it seems with the rat poison they all had a different way of getting out. Uh, as for all the radioactive barrels, any that didn't perish quickly turned into ghouls. Next we'll be visiting Lynn Pier Parking, and no, it's not the gunner tank that has spawned beside it. Rare encounter by the way. It's actually due west, it's a little pump house called the Vitali Pump House, and it has a very rare legendary weapon called the Gainer, a flaming revolver which is pretty handy, if you want to know where it is on the map of course. It's right here, west of Lynn Pier Parking and close to Finch Farm. Once inside, don't fire off any of your weapons as the gas and oil will detonate. We will, of course, want to gain access into this room. It's inaccessible because there's a bit of a code. Now, the code can be unlocked by looking over at the numbers here. It is 10451 and just inputting it into the machine here will get you just that. Four, five... And one. There we go. Door opens and we can pick up our revolver here. Sets the target on fire for 15 points of damage. Pretty awesome. Does lack in the late game, but still, if you arrive at an early enough level, be sure to pick this up. After which, loot the fusion core as well as the steamer trunk beside it. If you want a complete set of X-01 power armor and your level 35 or higher, then I want you to head straight on over to the custom house tower. From here, we'll head west. Now, do be aware that this suit does come with a fairly difficult boss battle. Although, if you're fast enough, I suppose you could get past them all. 35 cord is where you want to go to, and these laser turrets are just the beginning. Take care of them and enter the building. Once in the lobby, you'll want to take the elevator straight on up to the roof. Again, make sure you have a lot of cams, a lot of stems, and a lot of ammo. Once at the top floor, the games begin. You can find yourself facing down not one, but two very vicious enemies in the form of an Assaultron Dominator over here. At higher levels, of course, it is level dependent. And you have to press the button in each of the rooms. The other one is likely an Annihilator or a Siege Breaker, both of which will be extremely nasty. Now, of course, they shouldn't glitch like this for you. And once we persuade them to come on out, we can press the other button, take down them, and you can get yourself X01 Mark III, including a fusion core, complete armor. So, again, if you want to see where it is in the map, just west, a customized tower. Now, let's go find an interesting story elsewhere. Not too far away from the Fort Hagen Relay Tower, in fact just a short walk west, you can find a tank that is currently experiencing a bit of issues. It's stuck on the rocks, but what makes this one of my favourite stories in Fallout 4 is when you read the orders, you start to get a glimpse as to what was going on. You stupid maggots, first your sergeant tells me you were caught drinking on base, then I find out a tank has gone missing. You get the picture here. If that tank isn't back by 0600 tomorrow morning, spit shine, so help me, I will, and you kind of get kick your, you get exactly where that's going, uh, Colonel Kemp. Obviously these two soldiers had one too many drinks and thought it would be a good idea to joyride one of the large battle tanks. Again, one of the best stories you can find in the Commonwealth, just beside Relay Tower 0BB-915. Next up, we have a two-for-one special, two unmarked locations in one area, just north of the USS Constitution near Bunker Hill. First up, we've got a Raider drug den. Used to be an old comic book store. You will, of course, have to fight through the unsavory characters in here, picking up all of the supplies that you can. Now, there's only a few of them that you have to deal with, and in turn, you actually get a really nice steamer trunk full of items, as well as plenty of cams. But the real interesting part starts when you get to the roof. 
For you see, you will have to do a bit of parkouring to get over to our next destination. First onto this roof and then we'll want to jump across. You may need to use jet if you want to make this a little easier. But even without, you should be able to make it. And then we've got this secret red door. After you open it, you will be able to get yourself a second steamer trunk. Pretty handy that. And uh, yeah, a pretty nice view this house would have had of Irish Pride Industries, which is why I dubbed it the Irish Mansion. And it's also green. Kind of fits the theme. Anyway, I'll be doing another video on five more unmarked locations coming up soon. Thank you for watching.